soldiers from Mexico to Argentina who were trained in the school of the Americas by the U.S. And yes, on behalf of every grandmother and grandfather of this land, I always beg the listeners to please understand that this land was not made in Canada. Canada was made on Turtle Island. The birth of this nation was violent and the suffering inflicted on our indigenous peoples remained silent. Silent like rush hour traffic and public transport in the city of Toronto. Man, that's the most depressing group of people that I've seen. Each time I get on the train and I'm late for work and I'm yawning, I look at these people and look at these scared of death of talking. And it oppresses the hell out of me. That's not what I was raised. Let me take you back home to what the Miles public transport to show you what I've seen. Before the bus even left the terminal, a woman would get out with a heavy basket filled with tasty food inside. She put it down, she looked the passenger in the eye, and then she cried, Tamales, tortillas, elotes. That's the food that she was selling. And before the bus driver pulled out the terminal, he blasted that merengue. Musica de camineta, we call it. And before you know it, ding, 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 back to Canada. Shh. Apparently it's polite to be silent in public in Canada. Canadians are very polite people, aren't they? Well, except for those racist rednecks in Caledonia. I meant the progressive ones. You know, the ones who say they're not racist because they have black friends, but there's something discomforting about how politically correct they are. And it's like they sit around in a room amongst themselves and say, no, let's not call them Indians. Let's call them Natives. No, let's call them Aboriginals. No, wait, Bob, I got a great idea. Let's call them First Nations. Canadians are great at giving nice names, but they won't solve the problem. Force residential schools on indigenous people after they rob them. They won't supply electricity or running water to some reservations, and they're still trying to steal Caledonia from six nations. But well, hey, politically correct names are made in Canada. Look, Canadians will call me a lazy gangbanging spick for all that I care. Just please stop deporting my people. Because this country's in a crisis. One in six Torontonians is living in poverty. 60% of black boys in the city of Toronto at risk of becoming state property because they're getting pushed out of the school system. And hell yes, it's racism. Gun crime levels have risen because the origin of the guns were never disclosed. So here's a newsflash to the media. Young black men with baggy jeans don't actually own gun factories. And guns were actually made in Canada. So was polite silence, police violence, and so was apartheid. We remember apartheid. European colonizers terrorizing black South African victims, it's sickening. Picture an army of foreign state colonizers invading your community, bombing your community, raping your women, jailing your children, demolishing houses with the residents still living inside, violating UN resolutions by building a wall of apartheid in Palestine. Our sisters and brothers in Palestine are begging us to tell the world that supporting the boycott, divest, and sanctions campaign against the state of Israel is not an act of anti-Semitism. But hey, my words have offended you. I don't write my poems to try to make friends with you. At the end of the day, our people live with these problems. I'm just trying to figure out how to solve them. And the first step is to break that polite silence of stupidity. Because the last thing my auntie ever told me was, Mr. Eduardo, your poetry is a gift from God and you must share your words with the world. The next day, a brain aneurysm took hold of her. Five days later, death took hold of her. But while she was still alive, my poetry took hold of her. And the last thing she told me before she died, as she looked me in the eyes of Luis Eduardo, tu poesía es un regalo de Dios, y debes de compartir tus palabras con el mundo. So here you go, auntie. Made in Canada. Woo! 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 